Today I'll be explaining you about engine lubricating system. Uh, this figure you can see. This is a CLU4 lubricating module, and I'll be explaining you in detail about it. You can see this is the accumulator where we fill in nitrogen and maintain this at 35 bar. So this is the filling point here, and uh, important thing. to notice this is the dosing pump and you have the connections here for the cylinder oil and for the servo oil and these are the lines going to the uh, cylinder unit to the for the lubrication purpose you have the solenoid wall here so i'll be explaining you uh, why we are maintaining a pressure here and if the diaphragm breaks uh, what happens i will cut open one of the accumulator and show you how it will look like so what i am doing is i am cutting one of the accumulator to show you what is inside so we have a diaphragm inside here you can see in this picture uh, this is the new one and this is the book for all the spas how to overall i have cut the accumulator this is the non return valve here so we fill in nitrogen from this place and maintain this accumulator at 35 bar so what i have done is i have trying to show you how it looks and what will happen if the nitrogen inside this accumulator is less then what will happen is uh, the oil will puncture the diaphragm here because the servo oil which is acting will puncture the accumulator so i have i'm showing you this is the manual where you all the spares are there you can see here all the spares you can see and what details are there they given you so i'll be explaining in more detail about overhauling of the module separately but this time i want to tell you the purpose of the accumulator the accumulator pressure test has to be done initially the first month then every 3 months so this one is very important so what i am trying to show you is uh, this is the point where you need to charge with nitrogen bottle which is sub will be supplied by the maker so what i am telling this you can see this should be at 35 bar it is written here clearly so what i am i have cut the portion here and uh, you can see the filling point this is the filling point here uh, this is a non return valve this is always a leakage from here if the you can see the frame and there is a diaphragm here this will be uh, sitting the diaphragm will be holding this clamp on that this is a rubber diaphragm you can see how it looks like so what actually happened is in our case the rubber you can see here is cracked so if it is cracked what will happen is the cylinder oil will come to the other side and it will not hold the pressure so the this this is a rubber made of rubber so it is very important that you need to measure the pressure every regularly so what is happening is you can see in this picture each of the unit is connected with a module and you have the accumulator here so accumulator need to be checked for pressure with a separate instrument what we have you can see here this is how it is connected you can see the uh, connection for yourself so how it looks like in this picture you can see this is the servo oil coming from the main loop oil system in our case here this line need to be shut if you want to replace the accumulator and the inlet line which is coming from the cylinder lubrication tank that also need to be shut we got the solenoid valve here and uh, this is the dosing pump so the full detail of overhauling of the mo module i'll be explaining in you in a separate video so if you have any doubt regarding this operation part and venting part i'll be explaining you major overall of the module will be done in one separate video 
I hope if you have